nestled along the Merrimack Valley River, the Paul E. Songus Center at UMass Lowell has been a staple of sports and entertainment for the city of Lowell and the Merrimack Valley for the past 20 years. Named after former U.S. Senator Paul Songus, whose passion and vision was the driving force in creating one of Lowell's greatest destinations. I was in my Washington, uh, D.C. office. Uh, I was a member of Congress. Paul Songus picked up the phone and he said, we want to build uh, an arena in the downtown. Well, I was an assistant city manager during those days and I uh, used to listen to uh, Senator Songus talk about uh, how we can actually make this come true. I can't tell you exactly how the idea of um, bringing an arena to Lowell came into his mind, but um, once it did, uh, he really did get to work and as only he could do was very focused. After Paul Songus' United States presidential run, he returned with a determination to see the continued revitalization of his hometown, the city of Lowell. When Paul was kind of quarterbacking the economic revitalization of Lowell, I can remember one time saying, well, Paul, that really involves state money, not federal money. and he would look at me and said, yeah, I know that, Marty. Uh, I, I just need you on board. Uh, Lowell was a city that uh, wanted to be a destination city. We had a national park that was successful. Uh, we had a Merrimack Repertory Theater that was successful. The community college was growing. The university was growing. But the idea of having an arena to really round out uh, uh, the attractions of the city uh, was, a, a, I think, a major uh, goal of the city leadership. Paul had always uh, uh, wanted uh, to develop a first-class facility uh, with the university uh, in Dr. Hogan uh, and had several starts and stops along the way. As with most major development projects, challenges arise. There were budget challenges, relocation of the post office, riverwalk development, and many more. Years ago, there had been a feature HBO uh, on the city of Lowell that did not paint the, uh, the city in a particularly positive light. The city was in need of, uh, of a remake. Uh, the image had taken a hit. The general uh, discussion that we were all engaged in at the time was how do we take one of the uh, most challenging sections in the city of Lowell and turn it into one of the best sections in the city of Lowell. Well, I think the biggest challenge, quite frankly, was the economics of it. There were a lot of people who opposed spending city tax dollars. The city had to put four million dollars into it, which was very controversial at the time. There had to be uh, compromises that the university had to make in order to get the building built. And there were challenges with, uh, obviously, state funding. The city had a team working on the arena and uh, put the project out to bid. The bids came in way, way high. A $28 million project uh, really became a $63 million project and um, the project was stymied. There were a lot of people who opposed spending city tax dollars. There had to be a referendum uh, where there was a vote and there were some city councilors that were opposed to it at the time. Almost 60% of the voters in the city believed that we should invest uh, in the arena. We had to locate uh, the arena. It took a lot of hard work and uh, cleaning up the, uh, uh, the soil there. The project really included uh, the need to move the post office, which had been located in what is now the location of the entrance driveway, deal with the landscape at the back of the arena, uh, uh, which entailed building the Riverwalk, which was, again, not probably on the agenda when this project began. With great leadership, the project moved along with the help of many. At the end of the day, uh, through the state delegation and primarily Congressman Meehan, uh, we found uh, through uh, federal grants ways to offset a lot of the costs. All those over challenges were overcome and uh, I think a testament to uh, not just Paul Songus' leadership but the ability of both the public and private sector in Lowell to come together to make a major project like that happen. As the final stages of the Songus Center were being completed, Paul Songus' health was deteriorating due to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The Building Commission thought naming the Songus Center after Paul Songus would be a great honor to the man whose vision made the venue a reality. Initially, the naming was seen as a way also to raise important funds to help, to help do whatever needed to be done. I decided that we were going to do something to honor him. Rather than naming uh, the arena uh, through a corporate sponsor, uh, there was an effort 
uh, that uh, was put forward to raise money in Paul's name uh, that would help with some of the expenses. City Manager Martin called to see if uh, Paul would mind if they named the arena after him and, uh, and wanted me to ask him to inquire first before they went any further. And so well, I did went upstairs to ask Paul, I said, you know, Brian just called and they'd like to name the arena after you. And um, Paul, Paul was so touched. After two years of construction, the Songa Center opened its doors on January 27, 1998 to a UMass Lowell hockey game. Today, the University of Massachusetts Lowell and the Riverhawks call the Songa Center home and have hosted more than two million visitors during its 20 years of existence. The Songa Center has provided the citizens of Lowell and the Merrimack Valley with endless memories and will continue to be a premier venue for sports and entertainment for years to come. When uh, Paul was sick uh, and we were uh, in the process of constructing the arena, uh, I remember picking him up and driving him uh, to the arena when it was just the bowl. Uh, I remember Paul looking around and, and uh, saying, this is gonna be fantastic for the city. And uh, uh, to me, there's no better moment than that. My favorite memory was the opening night in the building uh, when uh, Nicky Songus was down on the hockey ice. I recall uh, our hockey player Michael Nicolishan uh, skating around the ice holding up the Songus number one jersey. Uh, his wife uh, uh, Nikki was on the ice with me at the time while we had done a little uh, celebration of Paul's life. In honor of uh, you know Paul's efforts uh, for what he had done, uh, it was a magical night to see so many Llewellyans here enjoying the building and realizing that it's a resource that would be here for a long time to come. They really did feel, feel it, it helped to knit um, the, the city together in a way that maybe hadn't, hadn't taken place before. Uh, I think for the Merrimack Valley to have a venue that uh, can host the kinds of athletic events that it does as a place where many schools come for their uh, senior graduations, uh, the kinds of, 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 of um, acts and you know other kinds of entertainment performances that take place there. It really has served, I think, in a multi-layered, uh, been multi-layered in what has contributed to the Merrimack Valley.